Today's video from Sam for s -Hell. We're taking a look at um, removing or resetting the grand total or GT on your end of day Z report on the NR510R register. Um, this process will work on any machine in the 500 series, but in this video I'm paying particular attention to the 510R. Um, so if we take a look at the standard Z report you get out of the machine, um, key round to Z, and then cash tend into Z reports, financial, financial again, and then daily Z1. Um, you'll be familiar with the report. It's basically the financial history of the till since the last time the Z1 was ran. So it's normally done every day. We have got this grand total um, down the bottom, which is perfectly fine. It's on the machine as standard. Some people like it to reset with every Z because it just makes the, if you're only using your Zs uh, for cashing the till up, it's just one less piece of confusing information um, to remove. And there's a couple of options. You can either remove it or you can get it to reset. I'll, I'll show you how to do both. Um, all you need to do is turn the key around to PGM, arrow down to options, cash to enter, and then we go into report, line three, cash to enter. And then these are all the options um, for the report. So they're really just, they're different flags for what you want set on the report or how you want the reports to work so they're all just yes or no's um, so the first one we're looking at is line seven set grand total uh, reset grand total after z financial report so i'm going to put that to yes by going into it and arrowing up cash saves it so you see that's changed to yes um, let's have a look at the next one down reset z counter so this is basically if we look at the z report there'll be a counter on it saying that it's the 10th z report so that's that there, or the 11th or 12th. You can force that to reset. Um, I don't think that's particularly necessary for me. Um, reset Z counter after time report, but I'm gonna leave that to no as well. And then you've basically got options to do it for all the different Z reports. Um, but the other one I'm gonna look at is resetting, uh, which is line 30. So you can, oh, that's it, sorry, forcing the grand total to not print. Um, so you can turn, if you, I've set mine to reset, uh, which is adequate for me, but you can also remove it from the um, Z report by going into line 26 and changing it to no. Print grand total on Z financial report, no. Um, print grand total gross. So that's the format of how it prints, um, but I'm happy with that. Um, once you've made the necessary changes, um, clear, back to options, clear again, and you can, because you've got program mode displayed, you can now turn the key round to the register position. Um, so if I ring through a couple of sales, 30 pounds worth of sales, key back round to Z. And the grand total's gone. Okay. Once you've done your report, it's clear a couple of times to get back to Z mode, and then from there, you can turn the key back to register. Okay, if you want to put them back on, you obviously the, the process is the same to reverse it. You just go into that part of the report editing and turn them back to yes or no. Um, yeah, so I hope that video has been helpful. I've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500 series in general. Some of those videos will be appearing on screen now, so you're welcome to check those out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.